Hey guys, um, so I am day 14 on my no spend, other than what's budgeted, so groceries is pretty much all I've spent. Actually, it's the only thing I've spent is on groceries, and it's going well. Today I was going to go grocery shopping, but then I sort of realized that um, I kind of have food at home already, so I don't really need to go grocery shopping. I may have to get like milk or something um, later, but um, excuse me. So far, um, I have enough in my pantry and, um, and whatnot to get me through. Um, although I am running low on meat. I thought I had more meat in my freezer, but it's a lot of, like, frozen fruit in my freezer. So eventually I will have to buy some meat, which might put a damper on my budget for September. Um, because meat's expensive. Yay! Um... But, yeah. So, we will see how that works out. Hopefully I can, um, I can just, like, get through it with what I have, which would be awesome. But eventually I will have to go grocery shopping because otherwise my kitchen is bare. But it is going well. On top of that, I, because it's a Labor Day long weekend, I have put more stuff on garage sale because that's where I sell my stuff because I don't like do garage sales because I live in an apartment. Um, so I sell it on garage sale and I have, well originally I had over 200 items on garage sale. Um, and I've been doing this for like months now and I think I posted um, the bulk of my 200 items. I want to say about two, two, two and a half months ago. Um, and it's like slowly been dwindling down and then, um, so it was down to like 156 and then I added some more items to it. Um, and, uh, it got over 200 again and now I'm back down to 186 and I just sold a bunch of stuff. Um, and so like today I just put some stuff on yesterday and I've already sold like $42 worth of stuff, which is phenomenal exciting so that's gonna go towards that and I'm gonna add it to my September budget but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know it's going great and um because I saw the new Rachel Cruz episode um and with the minimalist on I'm like oh I need to get rid of some stuff like just and I like I already added stuff on to Farage Shell but then I'm like what else can I add on there and so I sort of went through my clothes and I'm like I like bought this and wore it once and I like never, you know, never really wear it. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to sell this. I can sell this. I can toss this. I'm going to sell this, sell this, toss this, toss this. Um, I know like I have this really sh nice shirt, which I loved, but it had like the seam opened on it. And I'm like, I have no sewing ability whatsoever and I don't have the time and I'm never going to do it because that was the intention to sew it up again. I'm like, no, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to toss the shirt because it's not going to happen. And then I sold some like high heel shoes that I never wear because I have a fear of rolling my ankle and breaking my ankle because, um, A, I've rolled my, I've rolled my ankle on like wearing flats before and wearing like proper like doctor prescribed shoes before I've like rolled my ankle um, and tore a ligament and that is like the worst pain in the world um, that well that I've experienced I'm sure there's worse pains in the world than a torn ligament but that I've experienced it hurt and I'm like no I'm just gonna wear runners all the time and so now I just wear runners or like my one pair of flats like all the time and I'm like I never wear heels like I maybe wear heels once every two years and I'm like there's no point. I can just, anything I wear, I can wear with flats. So I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I like, yeah, I'll just sell those. And I made like 20 bucks on those shoes, um, which is nice. And then I have a whole bunch of other, um, stuff that's, that's going up that I'm like, oh, this is like my fancy stuff that I never wear. And I'm like, well, what's going to come up that I'm actually going to wear that? Like I don't wear it to work and, um, and I'm not going to wear it unless it's like, a Christmas party but the place where I'm working at now are our Christmas parties are at a pub and we drink and we eat food and it's all in the company and that's like pretty much like our Christmas parties we hang out and just talk and it's not anything fancy right so I'm like 
yeah, I'm not going to wear this for years. I might as well just get rid of it and like be done with it, right? And declutter everything. So that's what I did. And it's sort of the coming to the tail end of it's Labor Day today. And I have to go back to work tomorrow. I really do like my job, but just waking up in the morning to go to work when I'm at work it's fine it's good I enjoy it like it's it's very like a mental game when I'm at work and, and I enjoy it but just like getting out of my bed to go to work it's just like oh my god no um but yeah so works tomorrow that's gonna be interesting um but yeah no spend day 14 I'm actually shocked I got to 14 days I'll be shocked if I can get to 30 um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm excited. And then uh, I did my budget and that came out yes, the day before yesterday. And I'll be paying off my student loans this month, which is going to be awesome. And then onto my credit card. And like the more money I sell, I make selling my stuff, more money that's going to go on the credit card. And then maybe I'll be able to pay off my credit card in October. Wouldn't that be fun? It's a goal. It's a good goal. Maybe. Maybe if I save money on groceries and and cut back in October and sell some stuff. I don't want to jinx myself. Maybe. But maybe I can get my credit card done in October. It's at, it's at 1800 though. That's probably not going to happen. But with this month, it'll be down about five. Yeah, 13. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, you will see. Okay, but it's going. The snowball is rolling. And currently, I'm actually reading. Because I think what I'm going to do is do a, a seven-day no TV challenge. Because that is what I'm finding um, takes up the bulk of my time is... The TV. It was watching TV. I like my shows. I like... I PVR things and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna watch this. And it's like stuff that I don't need to be watching um, or like has no value in watching, I guess. Because it's like... It's not reality TV. Well, it sort of is. I've been watching lately a lot of uh, Come Dine With Me Canada and it's just like people throwing dinner parties. I'm like, I don't can't afford to throw a dinner party. I don't even like people all that much. So <laughs> I don't like people in my space all that much. So that in itself is, is really weird for me to do that. But it's just, it's entertaining and I just like can't turn off the TV and that's the problem. So um, I've sort of, I think I'm gonna start tomorrow and be like my no TV challenge starts tomorrow because I've already started watching TV today. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just gonna start tomorrow and it'll end next week and that's what I'm gonna do. So, but right now I am like reading and currently I am reading. You always see that. I'm reading the total money makeover again. I have it on my Kindle. This was one of the purchases that is currently on my credit card. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how I went back in is, is Amazon and, 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 um, uh, restaurants and skip the dishes so food Amazon and purchases that I really don't need although I really do enjoy my Kindle I'm not gonna lie I do like reading except that here okay I do enjoy reading and I like reading but the TV always kind of sucks me in and so I have a bunch of books on my Kindle that I have not read yet and I'm like, oh, I want to read this. This will help me, like, stop procrastinating. And, like, I'm buying all these things on the Kindle. And, um, yeah, I don't end up reading them. Or I haven't read them yet. But I will in my seven days challenge of no TV. We'll see how far that takes me, seven days, and see how many books I can actually read. Because, you know, your life doesn't change. change with the exceptions of the books you read and the, the people you meet and I'm I'm not really that much of a fan of people right now. I like being at home. Oh, I'm such a loner. Kind of a loser. And then I vent to YouTube. Doesn't make sense. But you know. 
<laughs> Maybe because I'm technically alone right now. And then I can like shout it out to you two that that's an okay thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. Maybe I should see a therapist or something. <laughs> I like my friend. I like my roommate. She's cool. I hang out with her. She's like the only one I'll hang out with. Because people are, are, are kind of annoying sometimes. Not gonna lie. Hey, at least I'm being honest. Okay, certain people are annoying. Like, it's... I've, I'm a type of person who has very few friends, but they're very good friends. And when I say very few, I mean one. My roommate. And her roommate. Which is her boyfriend. So he's my friend, too. She's more my friend, though. Let's be honest. She's my bestie. And I do love her to death. And I probably should, like, increase my social... Social socialization, um, which is why I'm like hanging out with some work people, um, and getting that because I know that's sort of my own problem is I'm not very social, um, and I'm like hanging out with this person at work, and she's like the social butterfly. She's like, oh yeah, let's go out, let's do stuff, and I'm doing stuff with her, and I'm like, everything I do it will cost money, which is actually the thing that I'm doing in September, going to a roller derby and going to the Royal Derby with my work, uh, my coworker at work, and she's like, yeah, we're gonna go out after, we're gonna go for drinks, and I'm like, ugh, mm, I wanna, <laughs> like, and it's not that I don't, um, it's not that I don't drink, cause I do, I do enjoy some alcohol every once in a while, but, um, for me, it's like a one-off thing where I'll actually go because, A, I drive and I never drink and drive. It doesn't matter how much I, um, how much you're allowed to technically have. I think this is very, very kind of close. So, yeah, it doesn't matter how much you're technically, like, everyone says, oh, one glass won't hurt you. Well, I'm like... I don't, I don't even do the one glass. If I have even a sip of alcohol, I'm not driving. Like, it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, because I just don't want to take that chance, right? And, um, yeah. So, going out to drinks is not so much of an issue. It's just the fact that I would have to cab to the roller derby, which would cost money. I could, um, and then I would have to cab to the pub to go out for drinks and then I'd have to cab home after I've been completely sloshed because like I've never I never really go drinking all that often and when I do it's like okay we're going we're doing this and in which case the alcohol is way more expensive so theoretically <sighs> something you have to save for and it's coming out of my personal budget and if I can save some money on my grocery budget It'll be a fun night, but that's a lot of cab. Maybe I'll get a ride. She's a, yeah. See, she's a pe she's a person that'll like. She met someone like she just met hand like met people being the social butterfly. She's like, oh yeah, and then they went out after to like the last time I went to the and I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna go. I have my car. I'm gonna go home. That's that's that was my deal, and she's just like meeting people, and I'm like, I um. Like, I, 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 I'm not the type of person that can sort of comprehend how someone can just, like, meet someone randomly and, and just be, like, friends with them. Like, I don't... My own issues. But anyway, so, I have to wrap my, my head around how I'm going to actually manage to do that on a budget. Like a bus. Busing is still... I could walk. We'll see what happens. The tickets are already paid for. So I don't have to pay for that. And roughly, honestly, if I have 40 bucks, it should last me the night. So. We'll see. <sighs> it's two weeks away and I'm already like, oh my god, what am I doing? Yeah. Alright. Well, if you want to hear me rant some more, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And uh, if you feel that um, your friends might enjoy someone ranting at them for no apparent reason, feel free to share. See you guys later.